What is up, guys? Today, we're going to take a look at Starfield versus Skyrim. One was obviously made way more recently than the other. And we're going to take a look at gameplay mechanics comparatively to see if this is up to standard, up to date. And I guess the first thing is a water plunge. And clearly, Starfield looked like a styrofoam character. Um, was that like 40, 50 stories into a swampy puddle that his head just stayed above water the whole time? Now, Skyrim, this was clearly made in, like, the Xbox 360 era. I mean, the graphics still look... I don't wonder if this... Is this modded? It looks not too bad. Went underwater completely submerged immediately. Um, the camera pan... The camera pan took a second there, but, I mean... All right, Skyrim won this one because that was just... I don't think gravity affects... Evening, sir. I don't want to hear any nerds talk about gravity you either. Quit that before you hit something you'll regret. Yeah, I mean the crosshairs were in the right spot as soon as she finished the sentence. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Immediately gets approached for having his weapon out. They did that in Fable too. Polished silver, maybe. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Whoa, whoa, watch the magic. Okay. Even specifically calls out that he's using magic. Interesting. Boop, boop, beep, beep, beep. Uh -huh. Step, bro. Uh -huh. Step, bro. All right, so that was unneeded. Um, Skyrim's up up two right now. <laughs> the equivalent of like time out, time out, time in. Skyrim gets one for one point for that one. Skyrim three, Starfield nothing. I love the NPC faces. He looks like he's getting judged right now. Like stop judging me. My mom made me this sandwich. I need to eat it. I love bologna. Um, at least he's taking corners. Like, he, you can see he's taking the middle, then the corner. Um, if I had to, I'll give that one to Skyrim, too. Skyrim's up. Was that three or four nothing? Last well, sounds like it breaks, but... It doesn't. Those little particles look pretty cheesy, too. It's about the same. Or nothing right now for Skyrim. Other people will say the same. Damn, dude. Will always be out of Everybody's Lane Johnson. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Dude, I hope they never get rid of that stare, dude. That stare is something I don't want to ever see patched. I love that. Um, okay, so that bumping animation was pretty crude. It might as well be walls. Be careful. So they respond. They kind of give you a glare. Their shoulders kind of buckle. It would be cool if like, what fell out of her hands. All right, so Skyrim wins that one too. I actually enjoyed this. I actually genuinely enjoyed the way that we did lockpicking. I thought that it was fun. It was intuitive. You could level it up. Um, not getting anything is a, that's a different thing, but the system of it, that's a shame. But the system in itself was fun. I liked the system in itself. And this was great for its time, too. Like, I mean, if you talk about, like, for its time, this was a pretty cool lockpicking system. But I'm going to give it to Starfield just because they changed it up. So Starfield has one now. Congrats, Starfield. You're on the board. Wearing enemy armor. He's got the Crimson Fleet on, and the UC security is just chilling. Not sure if those vermin sell In all fairness, when I wore this in front of Sysdef, they did mention something. And there were a couple missions where, like, if you were wearing the wrong gear, you would get spotted and you would get noticed, like, when you're infiltrating. Like, it, you that does have, I think that was a bad example. Armor? You got stew for brains. That stone cloak's armor is getting on my nerves. Yeah, what you're repping you the wrong you set, blood. Walking around dressed like a damn stone cloak traitor. Crips and blood's over here. 
Better be careful what flag right? you fly in. Here's how the Legion deals with rebel scum like you. Yeah, yeah. I'll give that a tie, honestly. I will give that a tie just because I know in Starfield that there are times where if you're wearing something, people will react to it and they will react negatively or positively. And this is the old bucket trick. You're detected, you can't steal anything off the desk or anything like that. I mean, his eyes are clearly covered too. And he's not like shoving That's the bucket fine. off. Give it back! And the bucket just does a double front flip dismount off the top of his head. Don't try that again. I'm always happy to see you come around. Your continued help with my uh, other business is much appreciated. <laughs> you look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. All right, and boom, as soon as it tilts forward. Get away from me. Maybe Bethesda just didn't want that to happen. You know, maybe Bethesda just simply didn't want people doing that anymore. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Don't mind. I'd like a mod that makes your voice non-existent. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. Let's go. Yeah, she was annoying, and, and, and the commands did seem more clunky if just because mind, they, like, I'd kind like of, like, to to overwhelmed us later. with options. What do you need? What do you need? He's got a thing, man. Okay, got it. See, man, that, that's a sturdy companion right there. He doesn't nag you, he doesn't judge you, he doesn't tell you what you need to do. So fast travel while enemies are nearby this might be a controversial thing for me but like it doesn't look like it doesn't look like this person's being attacked by enemies and also like the fast travel in this game is so important it's like super important not saying that skyrim needed like doesn't need fast travel but like come on man i'd like to speak to admiral logan sooner rather than later wait i'll be right here This is, I do remember this happening, and this is really good because Starfield is so dense, it's so big, it just makes sense. Your companion can be on any planet, there's a thousand of them, you know? Knowing where your companion is pretty important. Don't make me wait too long, I get bored very easily. So you see the fire logic, extreme heat, flames, they're getting warmed. Um, you get a little something going there. Yeah, he's wearing a spacesuit. I mean, that's I think that's the that's the Mantis gear too. I mean, that's really good armor, right? And that's supposed to protect you against like the weather of different planets. So, I mean, not to not to nitpick, but Again, you're wearing the Mantis gear. I wonder with, I wonder how this works if you're not wearing the Mantis gear. Bounty logic. Looks like you've got some fines to clear up. You didn't get like chased down for having a bounty on him. Honestly, he was doing a pretty bad job. You're supposed to like just do on the honor system here. Oh, don't do it. Oh, no. Well, you leveled up your two hand. Stop right there. Well, he didn't have to walk to the guard and tell him I killed the chicken. It's been a while since I played Skyrim, but I do remember that there was a jail that, like, a little bit similar to the Crimson Fleet start of the arc, which was actually really cool. Load. And it's got, like, a thumbnail next to it, which is cool. I do think that that's pretty neat. Sometimes visual really does help. You can't just be like, I was at Dustman's Crypt. Like, I need to figure out where at Dustman's Crypt I was. And that does, that that is probably uh, an NF on Starfield. I actually liked these. Like, the skill trees were pretty solid. And then when you leveled it up, the icon changed. I thought that was pretty neat. I think Starfield gets a win on this. Now, this is just a little bit more like... Uh, just like visually pleasing the ui is kind of like a hulu ui 
Okay, so typical Call of Duty fashion, you kind of pull it out of your back pocket. Okay, off the sheath. Off the sheath. The bow and arrow kind of appeared on his back and then he took it. And I don't think that magic counts as weapon swapping. So it's kind of like the same thing. Is it the same thing as the bow and arrow appeared? Like it just like appears on the back. If you have a if you if you leveled up enough, you can have like an artillery in your backpack. Do you want all of them to show like a weapon rack on all attached to your back? It would be ridiculous. Yeah, they get a tie here. This is a tie. Although I think Starfield maybe could have done it a little bit better because Skyrim is such an older game comparatively to like this new technology they're using in Starfield. I just feel as if like, like what could you really do there? The footsteps. There's no tracking behind him. Um, good shadow. The same exact. This is identical. Should start. Should Starfield take an L? for not innovating beyond a game that was on Xbox 360. I think that maybe, maybe we start doing that because, you know, footsteps, why not, right? So you've reached a boundary. You cannot go that way. You get a little prompt in the UI on the top right hand corner. You can't see it because my camera's in the way. And on, there's a top left corner. You cannot go that way. Same thing. Um, what do you, what exactly do you expect a developer to do when there is like a like a boundary, right? I know that they promise no boundaries in Starfield and that's like a gripe, but when it comes down to like the way they present the boundary, like what do you want? Obviously Starfield hasn't really innovated all that much comparatively to a game that was on Xbox 360, but when you think about the boundaries and like the spectrum and how like, you know, I, I guess you could say that this was a very brave dive because, you know, what Skyrim was one continent, right? Skyrim was one continent. Could you imagine if they tried to make a thousand planets on an Xbox 360 with procedurally generated planets and different experiences for everybody. So what wasn't spoken here was that Bethesda created a game with a thousand planets and it came at what cost? Well, the cost would probably be like really nitty gritty gameplay mechanics at the expense of having a thousand planets, which is something that we didn't award Starfield for to begin with. Many games in the Xbox 360 era had like an open world, kind of like one continent you can explore, fast travel, and you could kind of be free to a non-linear gameplay. That wasn't as innovative as I think that Starfield having a thousand planets and being able to have procedurally generated AI experiences for individual players. That's something that probably needs to be spoken on. But at the same time, that came at not really being able to innovate with furthering the details of the game, because a lot of these details were already invented in Skyrim, and some of them were actually even executed better in Skyrim. But we should be holding people accountable for what they're lacking in. Check out Top Game World, Starfield versus Skyrim details, logics, and comparison. This was a really good video, and if he does a part two, I would really like to see it, guys. Let me know if you think Starfield was a W, or if you think that it was an L in the comments. Peace.